How's it going, guys? So today we're back here with yet another video. We're playing sort of an adaptation of the deck I took to Ribbit. I've been trying to make a version of this deck work for a while because I think it's pretty neat and pretty good. Uh, so the main idea is, like, I wanted to play this Destiny Hero dark package with, like, Plasma and stuff, uh, D-Draw, and, like, Few Few with Ocean, so you can have, like, multiple Garnets you can send, and, um... Uh, you can like cheese out ocean with dasher call the honda to get crazy pluses at certain times too and plasma is like a win con as i mentioned plus you have the malleys with the plagues i think it's a, a pretty cool idea it's just been a matter of like finding the right filler if you if you know what i'm trying to say here uh at ribbit five i've tried several things at ribbit five i tried the plants i've tried like quick draw stuff i've tried zombies um i tried the plants i've, I've tried a bunch of things and ultimately, I think the plants weren't terrible. It was probably better than the other ideas, but I decided ultimately, what if instead of trying to put some cohesive third engine in here, we just like jam some Caius's in? And I think, based on the results, that this was actually better than any of those other ideas. Um, Caius, just crazy defining card of the format because of how powerful it is. Just being able to answer anything, being able to put on so much pressure. Just crazy, crazy powerful card. Um, and it's definitely done wonders in here. Definitely has a lot of synergy, too, with a lot of stuff. I ended up actually keeping the Krebon's Well stuff, which is a little interesting. I kind of shoved this in at the last second, thinking it was like a meme. Like, oh, I'm just going to say it's Welladad and get more views because people are hyped about Welladad. But I actually think uh, the sort of half-and-half Welladad package that I went with uh, for the Ribbit and onward has just been really good. Um, it's definitely been a lot better than I expected it to be. And I think it has a lot of synergy, even more so with the Kaisas than with the plants. Um, so I'm definitely not taking this out anytime soon. I think the Kreb on this has been really nice, and I'm glad we have them. So they, these did not disappoint at all. They're staying in here. Uh, we're still on one dandy as like a garnet for future fusion. So a lot of that remains unchanged. We mainly just... Yeah, we mainly just took out the plants and just went with some Kaisas. And I think... Yeah, that's just been it's just been crazy good, I think. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be showing off a couple of matches that I played with this deck. Uh, the list I played in these matches is not gonna be precisely the same. It's still gonna be on the Kaius stuff. I think there's like one or two cards that I was sort of fiddling around with, with ratios wise, as I was building this version. So you might see something like that, but it's overall pretty similar. And I think the gameplay from these matches is really interesting and really good, and definitely shows off the power of the deck. So I still want to showcase them. Uh, anyway, let's just let's just jump in and start watching, shall we? Okay, first one, we're up here against Tolo Pen, and we lose our PS. Feels bad. I think this was the GB player, which, I mean, <laughs> going second with this hand against GBs, I nearly just like left. I was just like, all right, let's go, let's go uh, play another one. But I decided to keep at it. Uh, here, I think my only real play is brain control. And luckily for me, uh, they don't have anything to answer this Brianag, but they have Book of Moon. Actually, maybe they should have just summoned Mole. I guess that doesn't play around, like, Mirror Force specifically. I think I got a little bit greedy setting this. I was just hoping, like, maybe he won't have an answer, and I can, like, try to win next turn or something. But he does. I draw Gores, which is, of course, terrible to draw um, <laughs> against GBs. Pretty much useless. I also drew, like, my one dandy, too, which is pretty useless. Um, yeah, overall, this was just a, a really bad hand to be going second with against GBs, and I finally, he's going to ready already my plague. I just draw... Yeah, I mean, I see the Grammel here. I'm like, okay, let's go next game. Let's bring in all my anti-GB hate. Let's go next game, because that was horrible. Here, oh, I, I, like, almost threw this game right here. So what I should have done is I should have just pitched the Mali for Greffer, pitched the Krebons for Krebons, power well, and this made like Stardust plus another Synchro or something, or maybe just left that Krebons there, and then that's just basically like GG against GPs because you've summoned Stardust and set some back row, you know, um, but for some reason I played more conservatively, which it's just never a good idea to play conservatively against GPs, should always just unload everything, uh, and I'm kind of getting punished for it here because they had the die fight. So I kind of have to wing blast it and go for it. Fortunately for me, he bottomless is my monster, so I'm just free to do whatever I want here. Because uh, I pried with the Mali to play around Crow. 
So here we do go for Stardust. They just scoop, which is maybe a little bit preemptive. I mean, they couldn't do anything there. And if they drew a monster or something, they were definitely... I mean, they were down bad. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat. Oh, the reason Dust Shoot and Gores are still in is because I actually didn't have a side deck. So what I said earlier about bringing in the anti-GB pre, that didn't happen. There was no side deck here. There was no sideboarding whatsoever. Uh, I think they probably sided in the die fi but I did not side because I didn't have a side, you know? Here I go for the die fi I read that there's probably a bribe, and I want to force it out so I can get the plus with heavy. And fortunately, that worked out for me. Krebons is also really good against these aggro-type decks like GB and uh, Blacklings, where it's just like you stop them from hitting, and their turn is basically skipped. <laughs> a little less true against Blackwing, I guess. Blackwing can, like, do things... Um, anyway, here, it's a bit awkward. We know their hand, but we know their face downs are, like, really good, right? It's Mirror Force plus War Chariot, so it's like, God, how do I do this, actually, <laughs> you know? Um, so, I could have just camped and just, like, sat on this Cataster, but I, like, didn't want to give them time to draw into, like, a Proving Ground and Bestiary me in there, or in Geysaris me, and then I'd probably just lose. So I feel like I have to clear this. Uh, I know I can do it if I just make Stardust that outs both the back row, right? And then I have Mirror to deal with the GB, hopefully. Fortunately for me, he didn't draw another GB and then rode me. That would have been a disaster. <laughs> uh, we're just kind of setting back row back and forth. I probably should have switched this level leader to start attacked earlier. As you can see, this level leader is one of the like, different cards I was playing. Uh, I had it in a previous version. It's like okay, but it didn't make the cut ultimately. I feel like there's just not enough synergy with it. It's good for, like, enabling Caius and, like, some synchro plays and stuff. You know, you can go for Mistworm off Gores or something, but it's not that great. Here at Torrential, and very luckily for me, they show the uh, road. So I, I, like, know that background is bullshit now. Um, doesn't do anything. Here, we draw Ocean with Dasher and Graveyard, which is, like, basically GG. I mean, that's insane. I chain just in case it's a bottomless. Um, a chain on the middle one, and then we get our Stratus back. Stratus is going to add a D here. We're going to D draw, and that's just going to be the end of the game because they're going to scoop it up right there. They may be scooped up a little preemptively here, but like I said, they, they were down bad, to be fair, just like in game number two. Um, so, yeah. I think these are some pretty cool games, obviously. Having to go against GBs without a side deck and losing the die roll is uh, painful for sure, but we managed to pull it back. We managed to pull it back, so definitely a cool showcase of the deck there. Let's move on to the next match, though. Here, we're up against my teammate, Snack. Snack was very helpful in letting me uh, test this deck against her. She's playing Fitz's Fire Zombies. Okay, I win the die roll this time. I should have probably Mallied before that allure, maybe, but I guess I wasn't certain. I don't know. I don't like this play. I feel like just make Stardust turn one and try to like win next turn and this Yeah, and then I get punished hard by the dog too. Yeah, I think I did that wrong. I really do. She goes Thought Ruler here, which potentially a case of Thought Ruler syndrome, honestly. Um Star I'm not gonna say Stardust was amazing here or like crazy better, but I know mean, would have stopped the MST. It wouldn't have stopped her Stardust from getting Caius, I guess. So it's like... But she could have just dust shooted my Caius and then, like... Booked my Synchro play, maybe? I don't think there was a way for me to get out Plasma. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's maybe not worth just thinking about this too long, but... Yeah. Okay. We get the Ab Zero. We get this, the Mali play. Here I get Super Green. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here I get super greedy. I go for plasma. I think this was wrong. I think I should have just gone Stardust to set Hero Blast. Because, like, either way here, the only way I'm losing is just Heavy Storm. Like, if they storm... If she storms, kills my, like, back row plus Future Fusion. Or if she storms, kills back row plus Equip Spell, then outs the plasma. So I think I maybe just should have just gone Stardust Dragon. Uh... It would have been maybe a little obnoxious dealing with the Reaper, but I definitely had the tools, so... Here, we're just gonna go for game. We use Plasma, or we use the Dasher to get my Abzira off-field Outer Monster attack for game, so... No problem there. Game number two, my hand is 
very Krebons heavy. I think at this point I was actually testing like three Krebons too well. And that ultimately got cut because I was just seeing way too much Krebons stuff. Um, and it was, it was like okay in this situation. It at least helps me stall, but it's not going to be enough. Um, she goes Storm and Wings Blast my guy. Unfortunately, she has the Book of Life. Uh, I get greedy with the Gores, which because I kind of have to. I'm thinking my best chance is like that or Plasma next turn, but uh, unfortunately she drew a new back row for turn, um, and that's going to stop the Plasma play. So at this point I basically lose. I drew a Plague Spreader, which she would just run over and get another 1,400 monster from deck and kill me. Game 3, yeah. As you can see, like, double well in hand is really awkward. Maybe she should have killed one of my tokens here. I don't know why she set this. I don't think preserving the information is all that valuable here. We draw D draw for turn, which is absolutely insane and totally fixes our entire hand. So I'm just like, alright, we'll go Stardust Caius and just, like, win, right? Uh, and that's what happens. Yeah, Kai is just really useful. I'm a big fan of this card in here. I used to, like, messed up this attack order and I get punished here for it because she has the Mirror Force. If I, if I just attacked with Colossal first, maybe, she'd have had to at least, like, telegraph it with the Phoenix Wing if I'd done it that way. Or hold it for next turn. We do go for the Power Wall here, which it's nice. We have two Krebons in play, so... But it's just, like... It's just Krebons, you know? Like, there's too much Krebon stuff going on here. I feel like... <laughs> I was just seeing too much of it, you know? The second power wall is completely useless here. It doesn't do anything. But fortunately, I just have some other cards that are going to read win the game, like Plasma. Plasma, just crazy card. I think Plasma settled, like, a bunch of these games, actually. I mean, game one, I shouldn't have gone for it, but here, Plasma just going to end the game right there. To be, to be fair, there were a number of ways I could have won, but Plasma is just an insane boss monster. Uh, I absolutely love getting it off, because just crazy, powerful card. Definitely an underexplored one, I think, in Edison. So, anyway, on to the very third and final match. Uh, I forget what I played against. What was this? Mm, I think it was Zombie, maybe? No, it was X Saber. Okay. So, we opened D Draw Mally, which isn't bad until we draw into the other Mally. Because, <laughs> you know, of course. Um, I go for Minecon here, and I see a Howling Insect. I'm like, at this point, I think I'm up against insects. So, I'm like, I could unbrick my Mally here. They probably just should have booked right away, because what if I had synced with their recruiter? But they book here, and it's going to be about the same. Um, I realize immediately that I actually can't do this, because I mind con that uh, Howling Insect. So I just go Greffer Attack, and I think I pitch main 2 to get a Necro Gardener. Um, I think I use this Gardener here, and I'm not entirely sure if that was right. Also, they make a mistake. Uh, they should have just done that Econ in battle phase but yeah it's not gonna matter too much because they're actually gonna get to resolve their full helm knight because they did it that way hmm so i'm obviously gonna hold the goat here uh, maybe i should have used it on that attack there was no reason to take the 22 there right it's not like that last token is really gonna do anything for us it's just like it's just dangerous having it sit there with full helm on the field. So here they like think for a while and they just absolutely have to storm and then sink. So they go very neg there out the plasma, which again, plasma doing work. They go AFD, set a monster. Here we're just playing chill, hoping they don't like randomly go off. Unfortunately, they draw a cat, but okay, yeah, they could have killed me here. It's weird. It, it seems like they were reading me having gores before. But then here they just totally, like, decide to, like, YOLO all in and then lose to Gores. So I don't don't know that that was right. But in main two, they just go Colossal. Um, we're just going to Mistworm kill them, though, right? Yeah. Mistworm, summon Armanite. That's GG. So in this situation, Level Eater actually did do something pretty useful, but I digress. Ultimately, it did not make the cut. And here we are in game number two, opponent side Shadow Mirror, which is uh, an interesting choice. I guess uh, definitely some pre for Vayu there. I get a little uh, 
aggressive here and decide to try to force the negate with my equal attack token, which actually does work. So main two, we go for the Kais, and then they flip the Shadow Mirror. I'm like, oh shit, they've got Shadow Mirror. Oh, that's not good. My whole deck is dark. Uh, fortunately, Shadow Mirror is not an insanely popular card or anything, uh, so it's not something you'll really have to worry about too much in Edison, but definitely caught me off guard. Here we go for the Teleport. I think they just book immediately, fearing like a Brio push for game. I'm definitely relying on this Brain Control uh, to try and win me the game later. Because I don't really think I have another way to win under Shadow Mirror. They go Goyo. They have to take my Krebons or I'm going to do a Synchro play. But we just top deck the Heavy Storm. And then go for the Mali. And then we steal back our Krebons here because we have to. Go for a Colossal Fighter. Hit over. Attack for game. So we managed to play. We, we do survive getting Shadow Mirrored. So very fortunate for us there. But yep. So those are the all the games I played with the deck. I think this version is probably the best version I've played so far. Um, you can see just like having Caius is just such a such a powerful play in in Edison format, and I think I was just trying to make too many things happen in the previous versions. So just playing like a good card in these slots instead of like trying to make some like other axis or whatever going on just seems a lot better to me uh but yeah very fun deck very cool deck deck i think is reasonably strong as well uh so be sure to like comment subscribe i hope you enjoyed uh i'll be back with a new video tomorrow hopefully so be sure to check that one out maybe doing a new episode of meta breakers at some point now that the last one has been posted uh so that'll be on this channel so definitely be sure to check that out and i'll see you guys next time peace out